Welcome back to another Armour 3D video. It's been a little while, but today I'm going to show you how I update my Armour 3D SDKs. Now, I don't do it the standard way, so this is the current version of Armour 3D, uh, October version, the 10th month of 2023. So what I do usually is I just close this down and I go ahead to the itch.io app. Now, you can download the itch.io app in the first link in the description. It's uh, basically just like... Uh, just like Steam, I guess uh, you could say, except for itch.io. Itch .io. And it's pretty cool. It allows you to download uh, all your favorite games, everything in the app. Uh, only um, um, PC games. If you want to play like web games, you have to use the website version. It doesn't allow you to play in the app. Uh, but let's go ahead to our preferences, turn this into tabs. And let's go down here and search for... Uh, Armory 3D and you can see it's in the well, it wasn't top result, it's second result and this is our Armory 3D website within the itch.io uh, app and here you can see this is the latest version so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go not hit launch because this isn't an, an EXE, this is an SDK so it adds, it's a package to be added to uh, Blender LTS, not a uh, standalone software so you can go down here, you can see our latest version Armory 3D SDK 2023-10 October month version is here and you can see down here I can check for updates and I'll see it's up to date and what we can do uh, when this eventually does get updated next month uh, we can go down here and it will just have a little update button and just click that and it's going to update all the files that are changed or new and uh, delete all the old ones and basically a much better way of uh, just updating on 3D because then it's automatically updating the same files every time which means when we go back to Blender that uh, you don't have to reinstall anything you don't have to remove the previous SDK install the new one it's just automatically the set is automatically updated I've been doing this for months now and I think it's the best way of doing it and since I haven't talked about on 3D in a little while I decided this would be a good thing to show you guys. Now, like I said, you can get, download the itch.io app in the description. It's a really cool app. I use it to download games all the time, uh, indie games, essentially. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching.